Good morning, it's Jeff Kurtz at compostcritter.com. You can always email us at jlkurtz at compostcritter.com. This morning we're going to show you a science project, a biology project you can do at home or at your school, and we will soon have this project available on our website. The container you're looking at is a, it's a six quart is how it's measured container, about the size of a shoebox that we've put some holes in the side and in the bottom for drainage and ventilation. We'll show you the whole project here. This is how I put the holes in the container. I'm just using an inexpensive soldering iron. Watch your fingers. These guys get hot and punch a bunch of holes in the bottom for drainage. These holes serve another purpose. When one of these totes is completely consumed by the worms and converted to vermicompost, you take the second container, put it on top, add food and bedding, and the worms will migrate up into the upper container. So that's what those little holes do for you. Here's the container all put together. And now we're going to start our little compost project. Vermiposting is the process of composting with worms. Vermipost is the stuff that's in there while it's being composted. And worm castings are the finished product, which is all worm poop. And that's kind of the ultimate goal for your garden and your house plants. My favorite job in the world is shredding phone books. How many millions of phone books have we tucked into landfills? So I just make strips. If you've got a shredder, that's fine, but it's not necessary. And, uh, and you're going to make a, a layer of newspaper or shredded paper in the bottom of the bin here that we're going to soak in water. It's going to help keep moisture in, and it's going to help provide ventilation so air can get up into the bed. Here you see I've dipped the paper in water, and here it is sitting in the bottom of the bin. Not necessary to get it real uh, fancy here. Any kind of shredded paper will work, but I like the soft, fibrous stuff like newspaper and phone books versus the, the little harder to decompose office paper. Now here's what we're going to put in for some food. This is the leftovers from my kitchen from Saturday. So we have a few tea bags, a coffee uh, coffee grounds and filter right out of the machine. Here's an old biscuit. And then these are uh, vegetables and peppers and potatoes from leftover from breakfast. And this is all going to go into the worm bin. As we put this stuff in, put the food layer in and we're going to cover it with, with leaves or other papers. That will keep uh, fruit flies from invading the process here. Other than fruit flies are a pain to work around, uh, the, the worms will go ahead and compost their their uh, larvae and eggs, so it's not the end of the world. These are worms that, worms, listen to me, these are leaves out of my backyard. You'll see I've got a good number of pine trees around. So you take the leaves, soak them good. It's best if they're broken down, the more the merrier, and the further, further they're composted before you feed them to the worms, the faster the process will go. But the worms will take care of it. They will speed this process up. Here I'm starting to put the worms in. Actually, this is a chunk of pumpkin. I composted nearly 20 pounds of 20, dip, 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 2,000 pounds of pumpkins this year. And there's a chunk that isn't quite decomposed in the one worm bit. Then we're going to add the worms. And I've put in about a cup of worms and, and uh, compost from their, their bin. Uh, it's not really critical how much goes in because they're going to multiply like crazy. Now let's take those worms and the food. We're going to cover it with leaves. Here we are soaking the leaves in a, bit, in a bucket of water. Get those all spread out in there. And then, again, cover these with what we're going to call the bedding, which is the top layer, uh, moist paper, newspaper, whatever we're going to leave on top. It'll keep it moist. It'll keep the flies out. And eventually it'll be composted by the worms. So there's the bed, pretty much ready to go. And then we're going to cover it with a layer of newspaper, or in this case, yellow pages, stay warm for less, from Miller Gas and Oil. A little plug there for whoever that guy is. And there's your worm bed ready to go. This will compost over the next few months. You can see the water that's left over is going to drain into the lid here. If you've got a lot of water running through, it means you're adding too much water. And from time to time, just pull this off. Make sure that top layer of, of paper is moist, and you're all set. I'm going to run out of my five minutes, so I hope you have a great day. Look for us at compostcritter.com.